Well, I trust you've had a great Memorial Day weekend. For many, Memorial Day is a sign that the beginning of summer is just right around the corner. For others, it's a really solemn day to remember those who have passed from this life. Some visit cemeteries and they remember. For those in the military, our, our veterans to the families of fallen soldiers, Memorial Day really carries some significance, oftentimes so deep that words cannot express their hearts. I, I'm hoping you took some time to remember and to thank God for those who gave their lives for our country and for our freedom. And for Christ, who gave us his life for our eternal freedom. I, I wanted also today to give you a brief update. Well, let me start by stating the obvious. We miss you so much. We miss being with you, worshiping with you, serving with you. Although I am so encouraged by how many of you are really truly serving in some very creative ways, that you're reaching out to your neighbors, our community, and our church family as well. But again, I still miss making a difference with you and I doing it together. In fact, the drive through spaghetti feed that we had last week, I'm still thinking about that even now. I, I've shared with this with some of you, but I was caught off guard by my emotions. Uh, my emotion, but also those of you who showed up in your emotions. It was so great to see you, and I just want to let you know again, we just miss you so much. Something else that I couldn't really believe about the spaghetti drive through is we have people who were actually early to church. I mean, at all campuses. Some of you actually showed up 25 minutes before church even started, before the spaghetti feed. There were lines of cars waiting for us to get started. So I'm just saying, when we get back together, I expect you to be early. All right, so this season is certainly bringing a lot of challenges as well as blessings. We know that eventually it's going to come to a close. Eventually we will be able to gather together to connect, grow, and serve together again. The question on everybody's mind, of course, is when? President Trump announced last week that the new CDC guidance will classify houses of worship as essential, and he's called upon the governors to reopen churches. Hey, we already knew that we were essential. Again, we haven't closed. We continue to minister in very, very significant ways. But when will we re-enter into campus life? To be honest, we still don't know. Even though we don't know when that will be, we want you to know that we've been spending a great deal of time trying to figure out the best time to reopen, to re-enter into our campus life. We set some principles in place that is guiding our discussion. I shared in last week's update, you might want to check it out. But again, the day is coming. Let me also add this. Any plans that we make will continue to be fluid as things continue to change each and every week. So we're gonna remain flexible and we will be agile. We will have probably a phased approach. All right, so the church is gonna look different even when we get back together. But again, remember this, our God and the gospel message remain unchanged. One thing I, I do want to say to all of you is that we are now one church, not with three campuses, but with four. We now have an online campus that will be here to stay. In fact, before all of this started, I'd asked the elders for approval for launching an online campus next year. So it happened a lot sooner than we anticipated. So even as we re-enter, and some of you might still feel uncomfortable, or maybe you're in the high risk category, please know that you'll still be able to continue to worship with us. And if you're not in the area, but you've connected with us from another state or country like some have, please know that you can still stay connected because of our online campus, NCC Live. All right, well, have a great week. Know again that we miss you and we love you so much and can hardly wait to see you again.